Farmy This James videos. Let me show myself. And we are at oh, I forgot the Tampa pool. Bay's Hallow Scream for 2022. I've never been to Hallow Scream before. I've been to Horror Nights many times. We are at Hallow Scream. And uh, we're already heading into the first scare zone, I guess. Oh my gosh. This is the junkyard. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. Literally your vibe. <laughs> All right. Dude, a cockroach, look, Mac, 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 look, cockroach. Oh, shit, that's so cool. Oh my god. So up here we have one of their main events of this year, the 50-50 game show. Get the camera ready. Here's one of the houses, Witch of the Woods, and they've got a cool fog effect coming out of the sign. We're in the danger zone. We're in the highway in the danger zone. <laughs> the highway in the danger zone. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I feel a little bit more scared than Horror Nights. <laughs> This, I'm pretty sure this is the actual, yeah, this is the actual thing. It's a little too dark for the camera to see anything. You might see some footage of some, you might not see some of others. That's how it's gonna be. But we do have some walking things. All right, we're in like a, a, oh my gosh, was it? a cryptid scare zone with the Mothman over there. Whoa! It's pretty awesome. We've got Mothman. Very, very dark, but that's a good thing. It's just hard for you guys to see anything that's going on, unfortunately. Who's Elmo? What'd you say? It's Elmo. He's here. Oh my God. <laughs> There's Siren Head. They got Siren Head. Siren Head. 
sorry. It's okay. Sorry. I love the lighting in this area. This is nice. Dude, that's like your friend that does those. Uh... Yeah, he is. Right into the fall. Look at like the Wendigo and the blue the Wendigo back there. Oh my god. That was pretty hello. cool. Was that Eyeless Jack? No, that was uh, That was Eyeless Jack. No, it wasn't. Yes it was. That was a, that was the rake. It was the rake? I thought it was eyeless chat. Well, there was no Slender Man. Not yet. Well, there was a cardboard cat out of something. Starbucks. <laughs> We're in the pumpkin spice scare zone. <laughs> it's pumpkin spice season. <laughs> wow. I'm liking the scare zone quite a bit. It's the pumpkin scarecrow one. <laughs> I really cannot tell which of these are real. It's pretty hard. Very narrow pathway here, which I really like. Oh, here comes someone. Yeah, so it's also him going, like, oh, so it's like, laughing in three yeah, persons. Yeah, he like, he says three lines and then laughs. Oh, that's one. And I was like, hey, I think, I think the Some pretty cool scarecrows. Oh, oh, it's Disney. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they had, I heard, they had Roger Rabbit in it. Oh. Oh. That was good. So in case you're wondering what scare zone that was, I'm not even gonna take all the Raven's milk. This is the forgotten. This was here. Oh, that's so kinky. Oh.
That was pretty cool. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I like the vibe of that one. It's very different. It's like a, it's kind of like a goth nightclub for vampires. So a lot of BDSM type stuff in there, which I, you don't see often in haunts. But I liked it. I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. If you're kinky and you're into sex, then that's your house. <laughs> We're going into Skeleton Crew. I'm so hyped. It's pirates. Our, our pirates, baby. Oh, look, it kind of looks like we're underwater. I'm like, is this the same scare zone? You're like, no, dude. Holy crap! That's a shark. Whoa. Yo, it looks like we're underwater, like, seriously. This is cool. Pirates. That's scary. The Chick-fil-A is the scariest thing. Oh, I love this. The skeletons in the cages. That's awesome. Of course, every Halloween event these days has to have... Clowns. Heavy metal clowns? Ticket booth. Crash test car. We're going into the Christmas house, the residence home for the holidays. The Chris, the scary Christmas house for Halloween. Kind of weird. This is really strange to see right in the midst of the Halloween season. We're literally on the second day of fall and there's Christmas. However, I love stuff like this. So I'm looking forward to it. And I think it should still feel pretty Halloween-y because it should hopefully be scary. Oh no. What happened here? Thank you. Elvis Christmas. I'm at the back now. Okay. Yeah, it is cold in here.
I expected, though it is though it is Christmas themed, it still feels nice in Halloween because it's scary. It's super scary. And I like that. Number 62, the shortcut. Okay, for real though, this looks cool. We got a cemetery gate here. Cemetery? Let's head on in. I'm liking it. Might be the best scare zone so far. Very spooky. the voodoo zone. I'm pretty excited for this one because I love voodoo stuff. Voodoo. Okay, that big voodoo doll is pretty cool. I really like that guy. It's a big voodoo doll, like doing it. We got a, a fantasy fairy type vibe here. Okay, this looks super cool. I love the vibe here. I love all of the UV in this zone. <laughs> that was a cool one. 
This is Stranglewood Estate. I already know from the outside that this is literally going to be my favorite one. It's a haunted mansion. Look at that. That's an incredible facade. I love it. I cannot get over how good this facade is. Like, lighting and everything is on top. This is, this is like, top tier. So that, that lens is better in low light and stuff. Yeah, it is. Here we go into the Stranglewood Estate. Oh boy. We got the fog rolling. favorite that set design the scares the the sense oh it pulled up my heart that was the best one it pulled at my heartstrings I know you probably really like it it actually was the scariest one to me that too. is my favorite theming for anything Halloween is gothic man you like the sheet ghosts and that like was the, the best might be the best gothic haunted mansion haunt I've been in that wow. was well, what other ones could you name? Like other Manor. than the, yeah, the Mortem Manor completely Mortem destroys Manor that one. Mortem Manor destroys that yeah. one because I made it. Yeah, the character development. Yeah, the character development, next level. It actually did remind me of the Mortem Manor though. A lot of the things they had in I there. I like the sheet ghosts. That was a great idea. The sheet idea. ghosts were cool. Because that's simple. It was really. I have not good. talked about any of the houses as long as this one because this one was just so good. Death, Water, Bayou, Blood Moon, the final phase. So voodoo werewolves should be cool. Maybe some frog legs for you. Maybe some gator for you. <laughs> you go ahead. Alright, let's see. You tell me. You know what? It kind of smells like Zubu in here. This is how Zubu smelled. This way, please. Guys, we're getting split up. Oh, 
It's poison props. to decide with that one whether I like Stranglewood or that one more because they literally just put two of my favorite things in houses. So we have a mansion and then we have my favorite monster werewolves. So which do I choose? It got some good set design. It actually felt like you were in a bayou. It was nice in the dark corners. And there were a lot of werewolves and poison props werewolves. So the poison props animatronic werewolves. It's werewolves, so I'm very biased towards it. However, at the same time, we have a mansion. However, I'd say the only problem with that one is that it was so short. It was like two minutes. Whereas Stranglewood Estate was like five. So, it's hard to choose between the two, but I might have to go with Stranglewood just because it was a bit longer. But werewolves... What? Am I supposed to say something? Yeah. That was really cool. I liked all the uh, poison prop characters and the pneumatic werewolves. The fact we know that is just sad. No, nah, it's cool. Uh, it might be... It might have been scarier than the mansion to me. Because there was more things popping out. But I wasn't totally sure of what it was trying to do. Or is it like a... There was like a... Uh, like a camper, like an RV at the end. I was trying to figure out what the what the whole thing with the werewolves was. A swamp with werewolves. It was still cool. Werewolves. Might have been one of the best ones. Actually, Going back through this one by myself, split off from the group for a bit. Seems this is a reoccurring thing every year at Halloween events. We split up at some point. But um, this might be my favorite scare zone, the shortcut. It's just super cool aesthetically. Excellent. Let me see what I have here for you. Something very special. You like cheetah hunt? Oh, 
so perfect, what a coincidence. I've got a novelty kid worth millions, of course. Have a seat. Another round of applause for our contestant. Excellent, excellent. So the rules are simple, yes? Are they? The rules are simple, yes? Yes! Oh, yes, I know you're tired. You've been walking all night from the floor. Anyways, I think it's about time we get this really started. Uh, let's see. Brittany numbers three, five, and nine! Up to the stage where. Oh, I see one there. One there. Where's the last? There she is. <laughs> last, but not least. <laughs> oh, my dear. I'm sure the audience would love to see the grand finale! <laughs> My dear, we have you. Sit. Now! Uh, Listen, Charlie, this was not part of my contract, okay? What do you want about me? You're gonna sign a contract. Okay, alright. Well, okay, fine. Right. Uh, can you hold this for a moment? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, okay, Charlie, Charlie, listen, listen. I'm too pretty to die, okay? Right, if you're going to cry, cry into the microphone. <laughs> I'll cut you a much better deal. We can leave it to the real or as I like to call it, the circle of lies. Is that fair? I hate you! Perfect. Let's proceed. <laughs> Bush Gardens, yes. Tampa. Hello Scream. My first time going to Hello Scream. I mean, I'm used to the biggie, the Halloween Horror Nights. I'm used to that. And so, but however, I feel it's very close. It's very similar in a way. It's not, it's lower budget, of course, because it's not Universal freaking Orlando Resort. But it's cool. It's a great event. I'd come back. I'd come back many years again, considering it's also a lot cheaper than Horror Nights. I could see myself coming back and going to both every season. So yeah, it's a good one. Only thing I think they could improve on is more houses. There's only five compared to Horror Nights, which has ten. So I think they could improve on that. I think they could definitely have more houses. It was great. I really enjoyed it. It's easy to appease when you like this kind of stuff. Anyways, that's our look at Hollow Scream, Tampa, Florida, 2022. Keep searching the skies, my aliens. And keep following up the moonlight.